gift of justice. Help us to give true justice to your people honorably and equitably to all. God, forgive us for not giving righteousness and reconciliation. Forgive us for not giving justice equally to all, O oh God. Then the mountains of influence will be fruitful, and from your righteousness, prosperity, and peace will flow to all peoples. May the poor and humble have an advocate with the king. May he consider the children of the poor and crush the oppressor. Oh God, you've made each one of us in your image. And we are image bearers. And we pray that we would be a part of solution, a part of reconciliation, a part of justice, a part of mercy. God, forgive us for looking at anyone and saying they don't belong. They're unworthy. God, we ask you to forgive us for pride and arrogance and even sins that we've committed for which we've been blind to. And now, Lord, we want to work with you and work with those that are hurting to bring racial reconciliation and justice to our nation. So we thank you, God, that there's hope in you. You've given us a ministry of reconciliation. You've given us a ministry of and a message of reconciliation. God, I pray that we will do that in our spheres of influence and we'll partner with you to bring help and wholeness and restoration and renewal that we'll speak up for injustice, that we'll speak up where there's a need, that we'll speak up and stand in the gap. God, we say on our watch, we want this evil to end in Jesus' name. We want injustice to end and we want reconciliation to come. And so we appeal to you, O oh God, we say in this generation, in our day, give us a new start, give us a new beginning, give us a new hope, give us a new breakthrough, and help us, oh God, to be a part of your reconciling message and your reconciling ministry, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we pray this in Jesus' name.